Welcome to Sarasota Vascular Specialists, and today is Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit today about one of my most favorite topics and what got me very interested in getting into vascular surgery, and that's carotid arterial disease. Probably one of the most studied entities in vascular surgery, and it's been around for a long time and studied. The initial treatment from a surgical standpoint really started in the 1960s and when it first became popular to work on this and clean out carotid arteries. And we'll talk a little bit about why that's important with regards uh, to blockages in the carotid arteries. Normal arteries start like this and then can develop a spot in the artery that becomes the source of the deposition of cholesterol and platelets and other types of things that then lead to a blockage. And as it continues to block up, you can also get it on this side, and then you start getting a more narrow pathway. In the carotid arteries, this spews out the material that's in the plaque, little particles that can then go up into the brain and cause a TIA, which is transient ischemic attack that's reversible, does not cause permanent brain damage, or you can actually have where a piece breaks off and lodges in an artery up in the brain and kills the cells beyond that artery that by definition is a stroke and that isn't reversible. This can then be treated in a couple of different ways. One is either approach through the groin to come up with catheters and get through the blockage and put a device that captures any debris that goes up through the blockage and a stent goes right in this area here. The other way is through an operation called a TCAR, transcarotid artery revascularization. That's an operation where we make an incision below, just above the clavicle and below where the blockage is in the artery. So it's down about here. A device goes inside here. Another device goes in the vein. We hook the two tubes together. There's a trap in between. And then all the flow is reversed. Instead of going up to the brain like it does on transfemoral stenting, the flow is coming like this. So if something breaks off, it doesn't go to the brain. It comes into the trap and it gets caught. Carotid endarterectomy and TCAR have very similar results with regards to stroke risk, which, is both, which are both less than 1% in the correct hands. So in summary, we're talking about carotid artery disease. We discussed the types of treatment as either TCAR, transcarotid artery revascularization, or open carotid end arterectomy. Again, Michael Lapore here talking to you on Whiteboard Wednesdays, and thanks for letting me talk to you about carotid artery disease.